Hey yo, what up YouTube, it's Noli, and uh, I'm making this video today. This is going to be a guide on how to do mobilizing armies, getting your imbued rings, making it really easy. Uh, contrary to what people really think about this game, it's really, really easy. And it's quite simple to get your imbued in just like two or three days. It is so simple. Uh, and I'm just going to go over just like the basics. Alright, first of all, for mobilizing armies, uh, yes, mobile, yes. Yes, mobilizing armies. Right. Anyway, this game, you'll notice like right at the start, you'll have to do the stupid tutorial, and like I'll show you how to do conflict, which is not the game you'll be playing. You'll have to do a play one game of that, but then I'll move right on the siege. Siege is what you're going to be doing. All right. Then you're going to talk to this faggot, and he's going to be like, yo, dude, to start in games and to buy troops and shit, you have to have commodities and fucking exchange shit. Now, I recommend getting either, what the fuck? God damn it! Anyway, I'm not entering that on vid. Anyway, but uh, you're gonna give him uh, some shit for commodity points, which is fucking uh, you wanna give him either fire runes or mine runes, you know, really cheap shit. And like, I just bought like 400k mine runes, which cost me like 1.2 mil. Uh, you get, let me think, I think you get four points for every one mine rune. Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, for every point, for every game you want to go into, you want to spend 10k in your reward shit. Alright, but first of all, we're going to start off by the with troops. With troops, for this method, it does not really matter. Alright, you just go to recruit. Blah, 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 blah. This window will open. You just want to click plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And make them light. And then just, like, alright, buy these troops. And you'll get all these, which, by the way, I have to fucking manage. Uh, after every game, they'll usually be dead. I've had one case where like none of them were dead, but that's never gonna happen. It's like rare as shit. Anyway, after that, you just want to restore them all there by that button I just pressed. You saw that? And you just want to run back over here. And you want to climb down the briefing room entrance. You want to click siege. You know, say blah blah blah. You don't read that. And you'll click 10k. And then boom, you'll play. I'm not gonna fucking show me play. Oh, actually, never mind. I can just pause it. Yeah. Anyway. And you go in this room, you probably won't be in here for longer than like 30 seconds. That's like max. Say, so watch, see, I'm already in. Alright, and I'll fucking restart recording when I'm done. Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. I should show you guys how to line these up. Yeah. I'm just gonna click this, down arrow twice, up arrow twice, down arrow twice, and etc. See how I keep moving them down? Click on the wall, click each one, click the wall, click this one, click the wall, click this one, click the wall. And so on and so forth. You're just going to keep doing that until all ten of your troops are attacking the wall. You notice they actually start dying pretty quickly. Does not fucking matter. Uh, see, for some other people, uh, this is usually called the suicide method. Of course, this isn't exactly a suicide method because I don't kill my own troops. I just wait for them to die or wait till I win and everyone else kills themselves first or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. You can't really control that unless, like, you actually, like, play the game legitimately, which would take a lot longer than just fucking letting yourself die. Alright, at this point, I just go AFK. Alright, but right now I'm not AFK because I'm obviously making a video. But at this point, uh, you'll notice all the other troops, you know, lining up, they're doing the exact same thing. They're all probably AFK. Except the fucking guys that take forever to line their shit up. Uh, after this, like, eventually everyone will start to die off and then you just hope to win but if you don't win it doesn't really matter you still get a rank either way but if you win you get two ranks uh, me sometimes like uh here's what my tip is if you ever notice that you and some other guy the last one's left click one of your troops like click just fuck at any troop and you just want to just go over here and just click a random place on the map like far away 99% of the time the guy that's left will be AFK and he's not gonna notice your guys are gonna run over there and then, like, he notices your guys are dead, and you're, he's all like, yeah, I win, I think. Of course, he's not even going to be paying attention. So, although your troops aren't getting attacked anymore on the wall and shit, his are still getting attacked. His are still dying. You have that one over there that's completely safe. So, that one's still going to be alive. All his shit's going to be dead. He's not even going to realize what the fuck happened, because he's AFK. He's lucky. He'll be like, oh, I lost. It's all good. And then you walk away with two ranks instead of one. Easy shit. Uh, as for... You'll actually experience a lot of dicks in this game. Uh, by dicks... I mean, I don't know, I'll probably pause before you can actually see an example, but, uh, like, sometimes, like, you'll have, like, your troops, you see how all my troops are, like, one-fourth down, or one-fourth health, yeah, anyway, but, uh, 
a lot of times you'll have some fucking dick who will be like, oh, dude, I'm going to use my cannon and fucking set it right next to this guy who's next to me and kill all his troops with, like, two of my cannons. That way he loses automatically and he gets no chance to win. You'll get that a lot. Fuck it. It just gets you a faster death, and which means get back into the game faster to get another rank. Doesn't really matter. But, uh... Uh, I think that's readily about it for inside this game. Uh, I think I'll pause it now and start, you know, talking again when I'm done with this game. Alright, as you see, I'm back. It says I lost, but I still gained a rank because I s invested 10k in the scenario. Got 6.9k reward credits. Wow, it closed my menu. That's cool. Anyway, uh... You're going to climb up the stairs. And whether you win or lose, you're going to run over this guy. Manage. Resupply all to the bottom left. Click resupply all, and boom, then you're good to go. Right back in. You're always going to fucking do that. Again, your troops do not matter in this method, unless you're actually trying to win, which is stupid, because you'll yield a lot less fucking rank per hour. Uh, this spring... Mine yields about... Mm, 12, 13 ranks an hour, I guess. Something like that. Uh, it'd take like... it take like 24 total hours of this to get to imbued, which is not much if you actually think about it. It's just like a few days. Probably like if you play 8 hours a day. Like I usually do. It's, uh, that's about 3 days. Um, Let me think if there's anything else. Uh, Forgive me if I'm stuttering a lot because I'm doing this completely live. I'm trying to think of everything I guess I gotta tell you guys while talking. All right, went over commodities. I went over everything. Uh, oh yeah, fun fun basic tip because I fucking had trouble finding this out too. You'll notice at the bottom left of my screen it says Sergeant Noli. If you want Junior Cadet, Sergeant, whatever the hell your rank is, when you're rank zero to ninety nine, you can get the title Junior Cadet by talking to this guy. It says, excuse me, blah, blah, blah. You know, it says, can I change my rank prefix, please? And it'll give you the option to change with a one. That's just how you get that. He's also the guy you'll go to to uh, buy your first ship, but I wouldn't recommend him spending anything on it because the fucking outfit's ugly as shit. And he, can't imbue he can only imbue gold rings. I don't have to go over how bad those are. Uh, I actually, I think that's it. I think that's it. Um, this has been Noli. Uh, I'm doing this until my magic potions buy. I have about 10k more to get, I think. It should take about two days, which by then I'll have my imbued. And I'll update you when I do. Alright, it's been Noli. I hope this guy has helped you on how to achieve your imbued rings and mobilizing armies. As always, have a good day. Peace!